our investigation of the sentence which Mr. Soster received in Buffalo, we came away convinced that it was a frame-up, that he had been sent to prison because he was disseminating and selling books that the local government in Buffalo simply didn't like. Everything that's happened in Martin Soster's case since this time has only confirmed this conviction on the part of American Penn. We added Martin Soster's name to this list as the only prisoner in the United States who is a prisoner of conscience, a writer, or at least a man associated with the world of writing in jail for his ideas.